Welcome to the High School Football Pigskin Show. I'm your host, Michael Anderson. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was Halloween night when that little girl disappeared. This week we have the Packers of Colquitt County versus the Blue Devils of Tiff County. Uh, Colquitt County is one of the best teams in the state. Um, they play some of the dominant teams in the country and have won. Um, they have a perfect record. Tiff County has a good team, but with uh, Colquitt being so dominant this year, I don't think there's anyone out there that can beat them. So I'm picking Colquitt County over Tiff County this week. Good evening. My travels will take me to Tiff County, Georgia, located in South Georgia, to witness a contest between the Tiff County Blue Devils versus the Colquitt Packers. The Colquitt Packers are ranked number one in the state of Georgia. They are also ranked number five nationally. They are a traditional South Georgia powerhouse. They will take on the Tiff County Blue Devils, who are in their 100th year of their football program. They are led by a dynamic quarterback. So this should be a great contest. The Tiff County Blue Devils are led by Tahi Chambers, quarterback, number two, six foot two, 215 pounds. The Colquitt Packers are led by Shaquem King, number 22, running back, five foot eight, 175 pounds. I tell you what folks, that Halloween movie gave me the heebie-jeebies. When I arrived at Tiff County Football Stadium, I couldn't help but notice the good South Georgia festive atmosphere. Just sit back and watch. Even the devil was dancing down there in South Georgia.
I tell you folks, the Packers wasted no time after the kickoff from the 20-yard line. Packers throw a screen pass to number 22, and he takes it to the house for a Packers touchdown. <laughs> The Packers extra point was good. After the kickoff from the 20 yard line on Tiff's first possession, they fumbled the ball and the Packers recovered. Unable to score a touchdown, the Packers kick a field goal. It is good. It's 10 to 0. The Packers are up. Folks, I've been hearing all season long about how dynamic Tip Cannon's quarterback is. He does a draw play on the next possession, takes it up the middle, and goes for a huge game. Not only can Tiff's quarterback run the ball, he can throw the ball as he connects with number 18 for a huge game. From within the red zone, watch how Tiff's quarterback connects with number 5 for a blue double touchdown! There goes that devil again. After the Blue Devils kick off on the Packers next possession, they throw an interception to Tiff County! After the turnover, Tiff County goes to work and they throw a strike to number 11. He has a huge game. On the same possession, Tiff's quarterback throws a strike to number 11 for a huge game. After a penalty and despite Tiff's best efforts, they're forced to punt the ball due to the Packers' stop defense. On the Packers' next possession, number 22 bobs and leads through the interior of the Tiff County defense. From the 45-yard line, the Packers throw a strike to number 88. In the same possession, the Packers hand the ball to number 22 and watch how he gets hammered. The Packers weren't able to score a touchdown due to the Blue Devils' stingy defense, so they kicked the field goal, which was good. On the Blue Devils' next possession, the quarterback dials his own number. He fumbles, and the Packers recover! After the turnover, the Packers' number 22 goes up the middle, but he is rejected. Access denied by that stiff Tiff County defense. Due to that stiff Blue Devil defense, the Packers were not able to score a touchdown, so they kicked the field goal which was no good. On Tiff's next possession, the quarterback dials his own number and he is rudely greeted by number 55 in company of the Colquitt Packers. 
on the same tip possession, number 55 of the Packers, sacks the quarterback. Is anybody going to put a helmet on him? The Blue Devils were forced to punt the ball. And number 23 receives it as though he was shot out of a cannon. He darts up the sideline with some great blocking by the Packers for a Packers touchdown. The Packers extra point was good. On the next tip possession, Tiff County's quarterback dials his own number, but he's rejected by the Coquit Packers. Well, I'll tell you folks, this quarterback is special. Undeterred. Tiff quarterback drops right for a pass. Somehow he escapes. He throws a strike to number 11. He goes down the field for a Blue Devils touchdown. Blue Devil extra point was good. On the Packers' next possession, they throw a pass to number two, and he stumbles and rumbles all the way down the field for a nice game. So on this same Packers' possession, the Colquitt quarterback throws a strike to his receiver for a nice game. Well, folks, I said it once and I'll say it twice. Number 22 for the Packers, the best running back in the state. Watch as he starts up the middle for a corporate touchdown. The Packers attempt a two-point conversion. However, it's no good. On Tiff's next possession, the quarterback throws a dart to number 11 for a nice game. During the same Tiff possession, Tiff's quarterback is set by a stout Kobe Packer defense. During the same Tiff possession, Tiff's quarterback shows his escapability as he darts around the sideline for a nice game. After a Tiff County punt, the Packers take possession. Watch number 23's escape ability as he do -si does and does a spin move. In the same Colquitt possession, the Packers quarterback throws a pass to the running back and he shakes and bakes and the Tiff County defender puts an end to that madness. The Packers weren't able to punch the ball into the end zone for a touchdown, but they kicked a field goal and it was good. On the Colquitt kickoff, number 11 of Tiff County receives the ball and takes it up the field for a very, very nice game. On the same Blue Devil possession, quarterback dials his own number and goes up the middle for a huge game. Touchdown, Blue Devil. The extra point was good. There goes that dancing devil again. I tell you folks, the halftime score was 21-29 with Colquitt up. Uh, from this point on, it was all Colquitt. On this Halloween night, Coquit beat the devil 
out of Tiff County. We resume this game in the third quarter. After the halftime kickoff, the Packers have possession to hand the ball off to number 22, and there's nowhere to go. During the same Packers possession, the quarterback hands the ball off to number 23, and he darts up the field for a nice game. On the same Packers possession, number 22 wobbles, but he doesn't fall down. Touchdown, Packers! <laughs> the Colquitt extra point is good. After the Colquitt kickoff, Tiff County takes possession. This play, in my opinion, changed the momentum of the game because Tiff County's dynamic quarterback got hurt and he was never the same. After Tiff County punt, during the COVID possession, the quarterback throws a screenplay to number 22. He cuts on a dime and leaves a nickel change, but number 38 puts an end to that madness. After exchange of possessions, Tiff County has the ball. Tiff County is getting ready to punt, but they employ a little trick or and throw a pass, but the receiver is missed. The Packers take possession. This particular play tickled the daylight side of me. See if you can follow the ball. It's the ultimate trickeration. Touchdown, Packers! The Packers extra point is good. After the cold quick kickoff, the Blue Devils take possession. Words can't describe this bone crushing hit. Just watch. After a Blue Devils punt, the Packers take over. The quarterback throws a strike to number 23, and he cuts on the dime and leaves a nickel chain and goes all the way to the end zone for a Packers touchdown. <laughs> After the exchange of possession, the Packers have the ball. They hand the ball off to number 30. He darts around the sideline, takes it to the house for a Packers touchdown. <laughs> At this point, the score is 56 to 21. Coke it up. After the Coke kickoff, the Blue Devils take possession. The quarterback fumbles the ball on the handoff, and the Packers recover. Touchdown, Packers. Well, folks, 62-21 ended up being the final score with Coke with the victor. Wow, as you can see, the train definitely left the station. So far as the game, I thought the first half was pretty competitive. I thought the Blue Devils played pretty well on offense and defense. In the second half, I felt like they gave out a gas. They had too many turnovers and the fact that the quarterback got hurt I think took some steam out of the momentum. So far as the Colquitt Packers, they played like the number fifth nationally ranked team. 
um, both offense and defense. They executed all four quarters. Once again, I don't see how anyone's going to beat them this year. Uh, Region 8, get ready. I would like to thank the uh, South Georgia High School football fans that I encountered while I was traveling down there covering the football games. Uh, the games were so exciting um, and also you showed me a whole lot of hospitality and I really appreciate that. Hopefully this will inspire some of the North Georgia fans to travel down there to attend some of the football games because they're very exciting and they're a whole lot of fun. tuning in to the high school football pigskin show be sure to tune in to our next show on my channel morel productions